farmlands for the 200 horsepower challenge. So we're in April. Managed to get all of the sugar beet harvested last month. Um, now I think it was around 100 and, uh, sorry, 375,000 litres of sugar beet we got from that field. So, um, yeah, quite a lot. Um, so I'm just doing my daily bits, topping up the animals. We have a lot of TMR. Um, so I'll just go through the productions here. So coffee beans raw. Um, I did delete two of the greenhouses, like I said I was going to. Um, before I did, I sold what was in the two that I deleted, and that gave me one hundred and twenty thousand pound just from not even half a day of production from two greenhouses. So. That's what I was talking about with um, making too much money, if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> they're still not distributing, but I have had that problem with other things as well. So I think it might be because I've had to put in the production revamp mod for the wood storage. I think possibly that is stopping it from distributing maybe because you can go up to each one and select how many pallets you want to take out. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I've distributed the flour. Um, so I have got a full load that I need to put into the third donut factory, and then we'll still have some left over. Um, the farm production so I, the TMR keeps stopping and starting because um, the hay can't keep up. But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that running because we've still got over half a million liters of grass. Our big grass field is ready to harvest, so we're gonna have a lot more grass again. The reason we've got half a over half a million is because I mowed and collected all the grass off the rest of the new plots of land from last episode um so yeah we had nearly a million liters in there but we have 346,000 liters of tmr um and we're still producing liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer from the digestate the cows have run out of food, but they are, so there's grass in there and I think that's from the enhanced animal mod, um, the grazing mod, maybe, not sure now, but I think they're grazing on that patch of grass um, in the pasture bit of their pen, so, um, but they are producing a lot of slurry and manure they've been there about 13 14 hours and we've got eighty five thousand liters of slurry so um we're gonna have a lot of slurry and manure i don't know what i don't know about the manure but there'll be equally a lot of that so uh the chickens are fine at the moment and as i say we're just topping up the sheep now the wool is distributing um, to the uh, clothing factories, or it should be, yeah. Um, now, the two grain mills, I'm not sure. The production on the new grain mill is so quick, I didn't even... It didn't even register last time, but um, the capacity for the sugar beet is 360,000 litres, and we had a bit more of that than that. So on the last load, I just turned the sugar beet on. So I put 200,000 litres of water in there. So that was a lot of trips backwards and forwards, but 
Um, and I turned the sugar beet um, recipe to active just to, to go through some of the sugar beet so that we could get the rest in there. And from around 10 to 15 minutes in game time, we got 27,000 litres of sugar and nearly 7,000 litres of pig food. So it is rapid. I mean, I think if I turn that on now, which I am actually going to because we can, um, that will, I mean, you can see it going up there. Look. It's just so quick. So I think we'll easily go through all that sugar beet in a day, possibly. Um, but the problem is the sunflowers and olive oil, they won't distribute over here. So I was pondering what to do between the two mills because this is so quick. If you look at those recipes, 672 cycles per month but you get 640 litres of oil from one cycle. So it's going to be thousands and thousands, and we're never going to keep up from, from the, um, the olives and the sunflowers that are being produced in the gardens and the orchards. So, But luckily, they're not distributing into here for some reason. Um, they are all set to distribute in still as you can see here but they're only distributing into the old mill so i, th I think i'm just going to leave them as they are the the old mill can produce the oils when we want to make some more flour we'll just bung it in here and it will chew through it straight away to produce the flour we'll still do the sugar until that's run out and the grapes, so the grapes won't distribute over here either. So I've got a load of grapes that I'm, I need to to get over into here. But again, it's such a quick recipe. It's going to take no time at all. So yeah, um, the so yeah, what I want to get done is all the topping up of stuff um, so we'll just put some more grass in the sheet the other sheet pen so that's full and then um, and then we'll crack on so we've um, actually I'll, I'll get this done and then I'll, I'll come back and show you in a second full load of TMR I think what I'm going to do while we've because we've made so much of it I'm going to uh, fill the cow barn up once I get a chance and then I haven't got to worry about it running out all the time but as we slowly make our way up here you can see on the right hand side I have leveled all that bit out so we are going to create a field in there I was going to do two fields but there'll be no access point for a second field so um, but yeah it looks a lot tidier and it is flat not so much of a problem if it's not flat when you're creating fields but for placeables it's a lot easier when it's flat obviously so the only problem I might have is the trailer height hoping there's no collision which there is just have to live with that for a minute it's not very pretty 
yeah we we need a different trailer so we're gonna have to look for another trailer for getting straw and TMR in here did do that on our first put some feed in here but So yeah, there's already a lot of manure there. Don't think they've started producing milk yet. Um, yeah, no milk yet, but so that's helpful. The food capacity is four hundred thousand liters, so. Yeah, 70,000 litres of manure, 85,000 litres of slurry. So they're just going to go straight in the BGA, but I obviously need... I mean, actually we're going up to the BGA now, so... I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. So we'll take a load of this up. And really we want a bigger tanker. Um, for the milk when it starts producing and for the slurry. Obviously the water tanker we've got is only 10,000 litres. So yeah, we need we need a bigger tank, but so while we're driving up there, apologies for um in the last episode I did watch it back a little bit and realised that there's a lot of background noise. And that would mainly be my two boys playing Fortnite in the next room when I was recording. So I didn't really hear how loud they were being. Um, they're always loud when they're playing it. They play it online and there's lots of shouting and oh, it's ridiculous. But um, yeah, I didn't realise it affected what I was doing. So apologies if you heard that and apologies if there's any in this episode. They are playing Fortnite again, but they have both been warned there's any messing with daddy's YouTube videos then um, the Xbox will be off so yeah uh, yeah can't really can't really blame them school holidays they're up a little bit later it's weekend as well so Boys will be boys. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think future episodes I'm going to get all this sort of stuff done. So get all the, I call them daily chores. So just feeding the animals, moving bits around selling stuff all that sort of stuff i think i'll probably do most of that off camera um so that we can actually do some field work because we have got a lot of field work to do but it is that thing again of not being able to get everything into an episode um otherwise it would just end up as one big time lapse episode so yeah it's difficult knowing what to uh what to show on camera but to go with that I've um, I think my next move is to gradually double double up on equipment so more tractors and then <coughs> um, a second harvester maybe a second plow and just a few bits like that so that we can set workers off doing jobs 
while we're doing jobs. I think that is the only way we're going to be able to get through the amount of work that we, uh, we're going to start having because I mean I'm going to create so I'm going to I'm not going to put any fields in this bit where the um, where the grain mill is but I'm going to put a field in here and there'll be one field in here as I say this is I wanted to do two but it's going to have to be one field because they're There'll be no access point to the second field. Um, so yeah, I've got that to plow out, that to plow out. I've got that one to replow. So there's a lot of lot of work, a lot of field work. Got the grass field to uh, to mow, and then we've also got another field to plow out here as well. So. That will give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve fields. So obviously harvests will all be at different times, but they'll always be um they'll always be field work to do. Uh, I should have scrolled the other way, didn't I? May as well put the rest of this straw in. And then I'm going to fill it up with silage and get all that chugging away. So I'm going to crack on with all the bits I need to get done and I'll bring you back in when we're doing a bit of a bit of field work. So all the daily chores are finished. What I'm finding now is it's taken a long time to get through the odd bits and pieces each day. Um, I've got the animals to feed, the all the pallets to move around from various points. Um, obviously the greenhouse um, to the production points um grapes from over there over to the mill etc etc so it's taking a long time i mean that has all just took me a couple of hours um real time sort of on and off so i'm trying to make things as easy as possible the the end products i don't want to set to sell in I want to physically sell them myself because you do lose a percentage if you set them to selling. Um, whatever I can distribute from various product productions, I will do, but a lot of it's not working. In fact, the only thing that seems to be distributing is the sunflowers and the olives into this mill to make the oils. Um, Nothing else seems to be distributing. And as I say, I think that is because of the production revamp mod that I've had to install for the wood storage. So I haven't looked into it properly. There might be a way um, to, re to, to sort of set, set it up so that things can um, distribute from productions. I know it's quite an advanced mod with different parts so if anybody does know how I can do that then please let me know in the comments um, but at the moment it's not too bad I've found a way so I was talking about sort of doubling up on machinery bigger machinery um, implements etc so you'll notice I've been on another spending spree we're now down to 47,000. But that's because I've brought a few items. So to start with, we have Bent uh, 916 Vario. Uh, 
So this is 198 horsepower. Which will do us very well. It was about 86 grand, I think. I've also bought another 9 metre plough. So the idea is we're going to use this one to plough out the new fields. While one of the other tractors ploughs the sugar beet field. Next, I have bought this. Now, this is a pallet autoload trailer. So it will carry 44 normal pallets. But as I say, it's autoload. So that is going to make my daily um, chores a lot quicker and a lot easier. Next, we have a 24,000 litre tank which will do milk it will do water but we've got one for milk and we've got one for water so the milk one can stay up at the cow barn and we'll use this as our other water tanker for everything else for the greenhouses and etc and then we've got this which is the omatana tardis but it's not the big capacity, it's only the 20,000 litre. Um, and it's in a brown colour because that's going to be for our slurry, transporting slurry. So the one we have at the moment in that shed there is 10,000 litres. But that's 20 and the two big ones are 24. So it will just make transferring stuff a lot easier and quicker. <clears throat> And it's it's probably mainly going to be stuff off camera. But like I say, if it's taken a couple of hours. That's a couple of hours work amongst anything else before I can even start sort of recording and, and stuff like that. So it's just to make my life a lot easier. So that means we can sell quite a few bits. We're going to sell this trailer because... We don't need to. We've got the uh, A.W. Williams, which is 30,000 litre. Um, that is up at the cow barn at the moment because I changed the tipping point. So on that trailer, you can tip at 45 degree, 40 degree, 30 degree or 15 degree. So at 15 degrees, it tips out, but it doesn't hit the, the roof of the cow barn. So that solved that issue. But we don't need a second tipper trailer. We can sell this water tanker. <coughs> Excuse me. But we can also sell the two flatbed trailers now. So we can sell the gooseneck and the original Red Rock. Because we're not going to need them. So that will make a little bit of money back. So we're just going to repair and repaint those. Um, so we're going to get 15 and a half back for that. 12,194 for that. While we're in here, I'm just going to repair the Fiat. And I'm going to sell the water tanker and the the other trailer. So next on the buying list is <coughs> uh, another combine ready for when we're harvesting. water tank over as well I have a croaky throat again I'm 
now I've got to try and reverse a dolly trailer into that gap so this is going to be fun for you to watch but not for me to actually do in fact I was given a little tip I can't remember what who I saw doing it but if you attach a dolly trailer to the front piece, uh, to the front three point you've got a little bit more control on how it steers and it does work it's a lot lot easier there we go excellent so we'll leave that running because we need to attach the plow squeeze in here uh, all right, so repair paint 6700 for that repair repaint six and a half for that there we go right so we've recouped a little bit of the money is always good we'll grab this plow can set him off on um, on the sugar beet field We have got some, um, we need to clear the BJ as well of uh, electric charge. I'm going to keep storing the methane for now. But the electric charge is full. There we go, off he goes. Just going to the BGA. Yes, as you can see, we've got donuts producing. We've got, that was the worst one, coffee bean. Because there was 50 odd thousand litres in that greenhouse, that's a lot of pallets to manually move. Um. So, yeah, I did test out one of the auto load trailers and it was just a lot, lot easier, a lot quicker. And we're actually nearly out of um, liquid fertiliser in there, so that's going to need filling up soon. Um, but the coffee being roasted is uh, being produced now. We've got donuts. And as I say, we've got TMR constantly being produced in here at the moment. So cow barn's all full. So that's all good. Um, so yeah, we need the BGA. So we have got, we're out of straw now, but we've still got silage, slurry and manure. Um, the only reason they've stopped is because the electric charge is full, so. Grape juice, grapes have flown through. Um, the sugar, there you, are, you see. Sugar, we're at. 96,000 litres and I've distributed 36,000 litres of that already so yeah so this is going to go over to start ploughing out our fields but we're probably not going to get on to that in this episode now we'll um probably do that in the next one 
because right now we are going to mow this field. Actually, I'm going to put this onto a course play course, I think. Just so that I can uh, speak, concentrate. There we go. <clears throat> he is off. So, yeah, there's some other things I want to do on this um, in this series. Uh, I've got plans for what we're going to do with the wood. I'm going to put a firewood production in. And... I also want to try as a pancake production. So I'm thinking I might try that um, as well. <clears throat> but this is this is what I mean with all the with the productions and stuff like that. It's um it's a lot of work to get things where they need to be and not particularly interesting to be watched so that's my sort of dilemma but that is why really I've I've bought the the auto low trailer it's just going to make life a lot easier and the bigger capacity tanks is also going to make life easier as well so um but yeah I think I'm going to put this into a time lapse so I'll see you when that's uh, when that's done. I think we'll be able 
to find ourselves again Blank expressions, empty words Nothing can keep me away from you I think I will be all mode hopefully we will get uh before we extended the field we got i'm sure it was around 200 and something thousand liters so hoping to get around half a million off that possibly um the electric charge sold while we were doing that so we were up to 140 so that means we made 93 grand <clears throat> but I've just bought another weight for this tractor and some lime as well so so we'll set him off on a worker hopefully that won't use that's not going to use a lot of lime at all so that's good Um, so I want to get these field outlines ploughed in. So I said about big fields. Um, I don't know whether to do two fields in here. Two sort of smaller fields. Possibly. So, I don't know. No, we'll just leave this as one. I think. So, let's just make sure we are allowing create fields. going to leave that gap to the left just in case uh, yeah no we'll just do one it's not going to be huge anyway so can actually come a bit closer to this side actually Again, I will tidy up these uh, these corners a little bit. Don't like the messy messy corners, messy edges. See now, this is a bit of a sort of hilly bit along this uh, along this side. see what the field's like when we finish ploughing it because we can always 
split it in two, maybe. I mean that's the that's definitely the biggest I want to go with a with a field, I think. Cause again it's that thing of not wanting to be too big but also we want them big enough to uh to make us a bit of money, so I think that can stay as one and then yeah that should be that's probably going to be about the biggest we're going to do he said all day <laughs> right you know what we'll do this one last because I've got a f I've got a bit of a plan we may be able to make two fields in there um, this one isn't going to be very big on this side. edge might cause a bit of a problem because we did mow right to the edge. <coughs> Gotta say this fence does sound very nice. I think that's about the closest to the edge we want to go because of the Plot boundary. There we go. Okay, so uh what do we want to see? So we've got those two fields ploughed out. Uh 
So we will go along the edges, just tidy them up a bit. Um, I am going to try and make two fields out of this area here. Possibly see what I can do. This one here, I'm not going to plow. Well, I don't need to plow it, but I'm going to, uh, we're going to place something. So I think this is quite a big field. So I'm just going to cut this edge off and we're going to place the firewood production. So it is 45 grand. Actually, let me just put the zone markers on first so that we can see where we're, where we're placing it. Right here. So deliver the wood there. The production point is there. And I think the pallets spawn at the side there. Looks like the zone marker is going along the side, so we want it probably this way round. So I think if I place it there, so now obviously it's 45 grand, but that's saying 46, 652. So there is going to be a little bit of landscaping. Um, so I'm hoping, right, again, hang on, top tip, always save the game before you do any placing of stuff or landscaping because you can just go straight back to where you were right so this time so that's the way we wanted to do it let's try it there see what happens drive over to it and have a look This is quite a loud tractor as well, so apologies for that. I'm trying to place sort of productions. I mean, at the moment, they're going here, there and everywhere, really. Um, but this one I wanted kind of close to the wood storage. Just so that we haven't got that far to go. So we can come in off the road. That's fine now. We can tip in there. And then I think that is where the pallets will spawn. So I think what we will do. do a little bit of painting I thought I'd show you this bit just so you can see what I try and do so we will just paint some gravel neatest when it comes to this sort of thing
not like I say this sort of thing it's not my uh what's the word it's not my um my greatest passion in life I mean some people are just awesome at this sort of thing but yeah that's not me even using the mouse it's um still quite tricky to get nice lines but again it's one of them pushing myself to do different things um <clears throat> I mean, yeah, that doesn't look great. It's probably better off if we square it off, I think. So, just smooth that off as well. We go to the soften. Yeah, so we can see the, the zone markers coming through there. That's where the pallets will spawn. Probably do a little bit more painting as well. The other tip always remember which um which paint texture you used <laughs> uh, yeah I think that's that'll do for now we'll come in and texture that a little bit more I think at some point Probably have a road coming in here. No, we won't because we don't own that bit of land, do we? But I think that should be okay. Get in here. We can collect the pallets. So actually we probably want to cut that field off a little bit more I think. I think what we'll do, put grass in there. strip of grass in here Just 
separate the uh, separate the, um, the factory from the field. Then when we've got crop in it. Yeah, so when we've got crop in there, we can come along here without uh, without disturbing the crop. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably... Actually, no, what we'll do, we'll get some... Um, This might. Right, bear with me. I'm going to go and get the new trailer, and we're going to we'll test something. So I'll be back shortly. So forget what I said. Um, the auto low trailer is just pallets, various pallets, but just pallets. Um, so what we're going to do, we've got 55, nearly 56,000 litres here. So this just spawns as logs, but they're six metre logs. So we want probably three, me three logs at a time. And then I've bought this trailer. This was about four grand, um, and it should take six meters, and we can tow it with the uh, with the telehandler. So we'll just come in here. Should be able to pick three up. I would have thought, hopefully. Just oh, we do need to pick them up over that. Might have to see if I can get a weight for this uh, telehandler. Not sure if I'll be able to, but so that should fit nicely in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do two at a time. This is a bit wobbly. Um, but the firewood production takes 30,000 litres of wood. It's a one to one. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a, a, uh, a weight for this. It's also nice that it, it spits them out as nice equal equal thickness, equal length. Rather than having all the little spindly bits. Get two more.
don't think we'll be able to get 30,000 litres on that trailer. Yeah, with us not having um have really got a need for the for the telehandler with the pallet auto load. So at least now we have still got a use for it. Which is this. So what we've got there, three, six, nine, so that's nearly that will probably actually nearly fill the uh, the firewood production. Good thing about these trailers as well is you can road train them. So got hitches, they're nice and cheap. Um, so yeah, they'll do us. The mulch I missed a little bit on that field there. Do you know what this this series is uh it's great I I'm really enjoying it. Um it is challenging both in the, the actual challenge itself of 200 horsepower um, but also challenging myself doing different things that's nowhere near so now we've got yeah I'm not sure about this um I am going to have to download the the lockable there we go. Uh oh, sixteen. Sixteen thousand litres. Well that'll do for now. It's something in there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to download the lockable steering axle mod. Um But yeah, as I was saying, it's it's challenging me for different things. Um, but yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. So I hope you are too. There we go. It's only got a 30,000 litre capacity and a very small outgoing products capacity as well. But uh, turn that on. We have got a cell point. I've put the cell point in. Just down here. I'm just going to jump. There we go. So this is our cell point. Thought I'd put it on the farm. The imitators bringing firewood. Um, if we go into here. Uh, it's firewood in bulk, it's called. Firewood sales point, 1,550. So, what does that compare to with wood? The wood is... Uh, where is wood? Lost it. There's so much scrolling in this game. Where's wood? Am I just being blind? Wood chips. Whoa. So where's wood? 
That's strange. That's really strange. Um, well, it's in here. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Wood sells for more than the uh, firewood. <laughs> it's another one of them, isn't it? Um, oh. <laughs> That's really weird. And it's a one to one. So we're not, we're actually losing money by doing this. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's another thing to do. Um, it's actually quite annoying. Uh, that's really annoying. Right, I'm, I'm not going to put any more wood in there. We're going to run through that, and then we're going to get rid of that firewood production. Um, and we'll think of something else to do with the wood. Because there's no point. I've spent 45 grand on that production to make less money than just selling the wood on its own just doesn't make any sense i know i'm kind of doing that with the coffee but there's a a reason for that um but yeah with the wood no <laughs> we want to be making money so i should have tested that before but you can't test everything um that's quite annoying actually would have been a nice little process but what we'll do we'll run through that firewood um and then we'll place another wood producing production in its place uh something that will actually make us money not take money away from us we have lost the 45 grand that it's cost to put that production in but it is what it is. I should have tested it first, so never mind. But anyway, um that is it for this one. So again, I'm gonna get a few bits done off camera just to sort of catch up a bit. So I'm gonna finish getting these two ploughed. Get all the grass collected off there. And figure out if we can get two two fields collected uh, ploughed out in here that has really annoyed me I mm, I think what I might do a little bit cheaty probably but I might just not save go back then that won't be there the firewood production won't be there we'll still have the same amount of wood in the wood storage and then we can play something else so, so yeah i think i'm gonna do that so we're not a little bit cheaty but we're not gaining from it so i've just completely made a mistake then by placing that i think um, so yeah, I think I'll I'll do that. So the next episode, we'll have some new fields. We'll have a different production in place of the firewood one, um, and we'll be ready to get on with some more work. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you're still enjoying the series. Uh, thank you very much for sticking with me. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.